What's going on YouTube? Coming back at y'all with another video. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, so in this video, I just want to talk about, you know, um, Chris Brown. And because I, I do like look at all these celebrities and stuff, these, especially these um, musicians. And I just seen a video about somebody talking about how when a person first come out, first comes out, at like especially at like a young age, and then they stay in the game for a long time, and they end up turning turning wicked, end up being demonic. And by me always being a supporter of Chris Brown since I was a little kid, it kind of hurts to see that his life is going the way that it's going. Yeah, it's taking a turn for even though he yeah you you might be he might be getting all this money and having these hit songs and stuff but in the long run it's not gonna be looking good for him if he don't repent and turn away from everything that he's doing is you know because satan is satan has a has a tight hold on him has a grip on him so hard that he feels like I think, you know, with Chris Brown, I think that he feels that he have to make this type of music. He have to do this stuff to keep his name out there. To keep, and, you know, this with this uh, music industry, you have to. You have to be wicked. You have to be demonic to make it into this, this music game. You have to talk about sex and stuff. Because if you don't, you ain't gonna make it. Stuff for like country music or gospel music and stuff. But... I'm talking about this rap and this R&B. And some gospel music be talking about it. Hey, it's keeping it real. Um, but, like, in this, the music industry and stuff, man, you know, these artists are so wicked and demonic. And if you hear all their music, every one of them, all, all they talk about is how much money they got, how much, how much sex that they be having and all that stuff. Man, you know, that's in... And that's just leading leading kids astray, man. That's just leading them down the wrong path, bro. And it's sad that most of these kids are gonna are looking at this stuff. They looking at it. So what I'm gonna do is, you know, I'm gonna just talk about do y'all wake up and see what's going on? See, for for Chris Brown, I wanna do Chris Brown because, you know, I, like I said, all by me always being a supporter of his since I was a little kid, I'm not gonna sit up here and be some some um um hypocrite and be like I don't listen to Chris Brown and stuff, but like I don't listen to to like his music or anything. Hold on, guys. Yeah, like I'm not gonna sit up here and be some type of some type of hypocrite and be like, oh uh, that I don't listen to his music. Because I still do listen to his music. And but do you do you see what's going on though? See when he first came out, he was he made what run it with you, say goodbye, all that stuff, you know. He's making love songs. He was so innocent. These kids they you know, these artists, when, when they come into the game, they so innocent. They just... But then... Satan gets a hold of them. And I think that situation happened with him... With that whole um, um Rihanna incident and stuff. And I think that's what made him want to get on them, them drugs. That's what made him want to be hooked on onto drugs and stuff. So his life started to go downhill after that. So then when he came out with deuces, you know, he started telling people that he don't care what you got to say about him. He going to do what he want. He going to say what he want. And basically giving people the the message. Like, shoot, he don't care. So deuces is what, what like, really put him back out there. Fans start loving him. Everybody start loving him and stuff, man. You know, people start... Oh, Chris Brown, they start fading and stuff. It's like he gained more fans. He gained way more fans after that incident. But you see what happened with that, with the incident, though? 
it made him turn to drugs. And when they made him turn into drugs, he got hooked on it. Then he started, then people started to want to go work with him some more. People wanted to start, you know, just et cetera, et cetera, you know. People wanted to make music with him. The radio stations, they wanted to to uh, bring him back on there. He started doing, what, movies and stuff. You know, that's what people don't realize, don't understand, is that this music game is so demonic. And Chris, you know, he decided to go down that path. He decided to fit in with the world, fit in with his music industry and do all that stuff. He started doing, what, coke, crack, whatever he started doing. I think it was coke that he started doing. Um, You know, freaking drinking, alcoholic and stuff. He started smoking weed on stage, something that he wasn't doing. You know, y'all, you see what I'm saying? Satan is running through this music industry. He run hard through it. He know that this world loves music. He know the world loves music. So, and he knows your gifts and your talents. So what he do is he want to use that gift. He want to use your gifts and your talents to do his work. You know, and that's the trap that people are falling in. He wanted to use your gifts to do his work. Going, going against God, a gift that God gave you, but Satan want to corrupt it. He want to corrupt it. He want to, you know, he want to do it his way. He want, he want y'all to go, he want people to go his route. You know, and so, then after that, he started making them love songs. You see that he started making hit after hit after hit after deuces. And his music started to get more and more demonic. It started to get to the point where he was talking about... The only thing he talked about is how much sex he, he be having. The drugs and stuff. He started talking about, uh, you know, pornography and stuff. And, you know, man, started talking about his cars and all that. You gotta... You're gonna do what you gotta do to stay on top. That's what people... That's what, that's what they do. They do what they gotta do or say what they gotta say to stay on top. And... Satan is, he loving that stuff. Satan is loving that type of stuff. You know, because you're doing, you, you're doing his work for him. You want, he want, these artists is making kids feel like only thing that matters is money and cars and stuff. That's the only thing that matters. They don't even care about your soul and where it's going to go when you die. They don't want you to care about that. Ain't none of these artists is talking about that. None of these artists are, are talking about that at all. These artists, they're not talking about God and their songs. They're, they're not talking about getting saved in their music. They're not talking about change your life around and stuff. When well, you got that high status like that, you would think that some that some of them would, would want to talk about God more, want to be like, you know, repent and stuff. But they can't do that. Why? Because they live in that same lifestyle. They they live in that, that wicked lifestyle. How they gonna tell you to do something? And they're not doing it. They're not living that lifestyle. So you see what I'm saying? You know, it's not too many god. It's not any godly people in the music industry. Yeah, they they might be talking about, oh man, I think God, God gave me this, God gave me this, God gave me that and stuff. But they're not living for God. They're not living for Him. And you know, Chris Brown made a song. I gotta mention this because he made a song. What what's it called, man? I I keep forgetting that song. I keep forgetting what it's called, but it was on his Heartbreak on the Full Moon album. You know? And in his song, if people would catch the uh, lyrics and stop just running about the beat, listen to, to their lyrics, because they are speaking a lot of stuff. They are telling you who they, they living for. He said in his songs that he had he had a meeting with the devil. And that um, he made a deal with the devil that um, you can have. And he said that, that the devil told him that he can have it all, all the money and the fame and the and the, the cars and women, materialistic stuff. And he said that the devil told him, "But your soul, I'm a key." Now, how wicked is that? How 
wicked is that? That is demonic, y'all. Now, I like I said, if, if he make a song, I'll listen to, you know, because I've always been a supporter of his, but I really cut back on his music. I really cut back on it. I really did. Like, I don't listen to it as much as I used to. Like, last year, I would listen to him all the time. But now, man, I don't listen to him like that no more, man. I don't. Because it's that is so wicked. He, he basically just told you right there that he sold his soul. That the devil got his soul. And it was somebody who, who made a video on here. Somebody said that they had a dream about him. That the man was trying to go preach the word to Chris to Chris Brown. But he couldn't do it. That when he walked into the room that Chris Brown had... Chris Brown had like demons around him, or leeches or no eyes or something like that. And he said that Satan was in the corner playing an instrument, playing a, playing an instrument, getting Chris Brown's attention. So basically, basically what that dream is saying that, yeah, you can try to preach the words to him or anybody that's wicked, but Satan is going, Satan knows what you like. He knows your passion and stuff. And he used that that instrument. He used that music. He know that Chris, he know that Chris loves sin. And he also said in that one song that I just mentioned. He also said in that one song that uh, he know that he know that God don't like him being don't like his don't like sin. But and he was like, but he know that God he know he said that God knows that he loves that Chris Brown loves uh. Temptation and fornication. So Chris basically just so Chris basically just told him, just told God that, yeah, God, I know that you don't like that stuff, but hey, you know that you know that I love that that fornication and pornography and stuff. So basically, he just he just basically brushing off God's word, rejecting God's word. Basically, that's what he's doing. So y'all, what I'm trying to get at in this video is. Stop trying to stop playing a part of this world. Because Chris Brown, it's sad to say that Chris Brown is gone. He's he's far gone. The music industry just just well let's just say this better. Satan taking a toll on his life. Just took over his life. So y'all don't fall for that stuff. You see somebody living the sinful lifestyle, your friends or family or something, man. Get get from around them, man. Get in the word of God because it's lot. It's a lot of people. Yeah, you can tell them the word. Yeah, you can you can preach to them all you want. That's called a reprobate mind. That person got a reprobate mind. You can preach to them all they all you want. You can try to tell them to stop living that that lifestyle, that sinful lifestyle. But they're gonna turn their ear to you, and it's gonna go in one ear and out the other. It's it's not gonna be no use. It's no use. It's no use because they love their sin so much. Their flesh get the best of them. They don't want to give it up. They don't want to. It's just it's their free will. They don't want to. God said that he want. He didn't make for man to perish, to go into the lake of fire. But, you know, and if you end up going, if you end up going to the lake of fire, that's because of you. You chose that route. He tries his best for people not to go to the lake of fire but people choose to they use their free will and chose to they because they, they decided to play a part of this world and live for satan and chris brown don't have nobody that's godly around him to try to put him back on the right path he don't got nobody around him that's that's gonna that's that's gonna lead him in the right direction nobody's gonna lead him in, in the right direction it's sad man Says. So, y'all, what I'ma say is, because if I if I was ever to be around Chris or some, I would I would have to preach to him the word and tell him, get out of it, bro. Come back. Like Satan is Satan got a big hold on you. Like for real, he got a big hold on you. Them drugs, that fornication, 
all the women and stuff, all that drinking and stuff, man, it's not worth it. It's not worth your soul going going into damnation, going into the lake of fire. It ain't worth it, y'all. Get away from it. So with that being said, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like the video. And shoot, send this video to uh, Chris on your Instagram or some old Facebook. Anyway, you can send it to him so this message can, can get to him. So, and for all y'all to repent, turn away from it. I'm out.